You're watching UMass Sports Insider. A little signing day action. Good morning, UMass Nation. Good morning. We've been up since five getting it working today. Now we're ready to sign these guys. At the end of the day, uh, I, I think it brings excitement. It brings new energy. Good morning. Happy signing day. It's similar to the draft day. It's one of those hurry up and wait, you know, and uh, it's, a, it's a lot of hard work kind of culminated in waiting around. Sorry, man. Congratulations. Great to have you. You excited? Well, we're excited to have you on board. So uh, enjoy the day. They got they got a ceremony at school. You got that you got that UMass hat. All right. Listen, wear it wear it well today. Enjoy it, and, and we'll see you in the spring. All right. Last year was really a, a blitzkrieg of jumping around, and we ended up doing all right. You know, we with Fro and uh, Gene and a couple of the younger guys that that look like they're going to be all right. But this year we kind of. Uh, point to some some of the kids and some of the prospects and then you know um, a lot more time to, to, to for us to get to know them and for them to get to know us um. last year was uh, we, we added some key additions late um, found some guys uh, that ended up coming to visit the, those last two weekends and ended up signing with us and this year was um, had a full spring um, to kind of evaluate them some you know Kept in touch with them during the summer, heading into the fall, and and uh, and really, you know, you kind of have to, after you have a full year like that, you feel a little more invested in each kid, each player, each recruit, um, and I think it means a little bit more at the end of the day, especially um, after they've signed this morning. Got your uh, letter. Congrats. That's super. Yeah, great to see you. See you last, you know, a couple weeks ago. So had a good day today. We had a good little workouts this morning, and uh, they're starting to file in, so it's really good. I think the one thing in this class, we got more length, longer guys that, you know, may not make an impact as early as some of the other guys maybe we had last year, but I think our strength coaches are really excited about where you can see the growth potential. Anytime you bring in freshmen, um, you hope they can jump into the mix, especially uh, as we're building this program. So uh, if they're good enough and they, they pick it up well enough and, and they transition from high school to college, Best players play and the players who give us a chance to win play. This last two weeks is really like a two-minute drive, you know, and probably we, we had a two-minute drive, then they scored, and we had to go back down with another one. So this kind of, uh, you know, was a goal line stand today. We held off some people. The visits went really well. I thought our kids, our players here, which are so important in the recruiting process, just did an outstanding job, did a great job of selling UMass. It is stressful. It's, it's one of those things, though, at that point, you know, that, that you've done all you can do with the kid and you, and you feel good about them and, you know, you're on the phone one last time with them and their families the night before and, and, uh, and, and again, you kind of go to sleep and, and you, you let the chips fall where they may and, and feel pretty good about it. You know, they may help us next year, but a lot of them will try to red shirt and that's where you like your program to be. So we're closer to that point. Um, you know, we really don't lose that many guys from last year, but you can see the growth potential is really what we're excited about in this class. The incoming group of players joins a roster that will return nearly its entirety of players from last season, setting the stage for what should be a very exciting 2015 campaign. And for Coach Whipple and company, spring practice is less than two months away.